The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 32 through 35, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on July 25th, 1973, in London, England. Translation O Govinda, of what avail to us our kingdoms, happiness, or even life itself, when all those for whom we may desire them are now arrayed in this battlefield? O Madhusudan, when teachers, fathers, sons, grandfathers, maternal uncles, fathers-in-law, grandsons, brothers-in-law, and all relatives are ready to give up their lives and properties, and are standing before me, then why should I wish to kill them, though I may survive? O maintainer of all, of all creatures, I am not prepared to fight with them, even in exchange for the three worlds, let alone this earth. So, Arjun is thinking in terms of his own sense gratification. Uh, he is posing himself as if he does not know what is the plan of Krishna. The plan of Krishna is explained by Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita. Dadadadahi dharmasya klani bhavati abhutthanam adharmasya tadatmanam sujam paritranaya sadhanam vinasaya te duskita dharma samasthapana thaya yuge yuge sammavavi. The plan is already known to everyone how the management of the cosmic manifestation is going on. The cosmic manifestation is there, this material world. It is, although temporary, it has got a purpose. The purpose is to give chance to the living entities who are rotting in this material world to divide his Krishna consciousness or original consciousness and go back to home, back to God. This is the plan. Uh, this material, cosmic manifestation is there. Bhutta bhutta praliyate. The nature is, it is sometimes manifested and sometimes it is dissolved, annihilated. Everything material, that is the way. Just like our body, it is created at a certain date and it will be annihilated at a certain date. Similarly, this gigantic body, uh, that is also body of the Supreme Law, Virat body. Virat means giant. Krishna is so, his Virat Rupa to Arjuna. <coughs> So this external body, exactly, just like we have got our this external body, internal body, uh, the soul is covered by two bodies, the external and internal. External means these gross elements, earth, water, air, fire, sky, and internal means the mind, intelligence, and ego. They are also material. Uh, within that, two covering, just like our body is covered by certain core, similarly the soul is uh, encased in two kinds of bodies. When this gross body is finished, <coughs> the subtle body, 
mind, intelligence and ego, uh, they are there. The soul is covered, the gross body is finished, that is called death. But uh, people do not know that there is no death for the soul. The outward cover is finished, the inward cover is there, and the inward cover will carry the soul to another gross body. That is called transmigration. The mind is creating, uh, <coughs> as we are making our consciousness in this life, so we are making our next life also. Jyanti deva prata deman pitri jyanti pitri prata. So uh, we have got two kinds of bodies, uh, gross and subtle, and within that I am living, you are living, so within this body there is the dehi, <coughs> the proprietor of the body. So people do not understand that this Finishing of this gross body is not actually death or annihilation of the soul. Nahanate hannavane sarire. Even annihilation of the subtle body does not mean death of the soul. Nahanate hannavane sarire. There are two kinds of bodies. So, the, when the gross body is annihilated, the subtle body carries me to another gross body. Just like the air carries the flavor of a certain place. If the air is passing over rose garden, it carries the flavor. Although we cannot see, but we can smell, we, we can understand. The breeze is so fragrant, means it is coming over a rose garden. Uh, similarly, fill the place, uh, bad smell, the air carries. So the certain body carries the mental situation of the soul and puts him into a particular body according to that mental situation. Jangjangabhapi smaran loki tajatanti kaleva. At the time of death, the mental situation will give me chance for another gross body. If you have created my mind, Krishna conscious, then he will give me, uh, the mental situation will give me a body uh, by which I can make further progress. That is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Sutinam Simatam Gehi Yoga Bhrashta Sanjaya. Yoga Bhrashta. Suppose one has begun yoga. Yoga means attempt to link with the Supreme. That is called yoga. And yoga means uh, without any relationship or without any attachment for the Supreme. Uh, yoga means plus and yoga means minus. Uh, so plus, plus means one plus one equal to two. So uh, when we try to uh, connect with the Supreme, then we can understand there is God and I am also there. We have got intimate relationship that is explained in the Vedas. Two birds are sitting on the same tree. One bird is eating the fruit and the other bird is simply witnessing. The witnessing bird is God, Krishna. 
and the eating bar is the living entity. So <coughs> God is witnessing all our activities and our mental situation. So He orders māyā, the external energy, prakriti, that He requires to be given a body like this. And the material nature gives a living entity a particular type of body, and they are numbering eight million four hundred thousand. So there is no certainty what kind of body I am going to get next life. But in the Bhagavad Gita it is explained that if you are situated on the mode of goodness, then you will get your place in the higher planetary system. Urdhanga chanti sattva svā madhi tishtanti rājasa jaghanna guna vittishta adhoga chanti tāmasā. There are three qualities, material nature, they are working. And we are under the influence of either of them, either in the influence of goodness or in the influence of passion or in the influence of ignorance. So when we are under the influence of ignorance, jagannā guna vitti, then our behavior and activities becomes very abominable, very, very much abominable. Uh, and especially in this Kali Yuga, it is stated that people will have no fixed time for eating or sleeping or taking bath. In this way, their bodily features will be like ghost. Uh, that we are seeing actually, the hippies, they are becoming. Uh, practically in this age there will be no place even for taking daily bath. That we see especially in this country, uh, the apartment, there is no bathing place. Uh, they have to go outside. So things are deteriorating very, very much. Adho-gacchanti tamasa. Therefore, ah, the human civilization means to make progress towards the ah, ah, quality of goodness. Ah, that will help him for making further progress. Urdhanga chanti sattvastha. Urdhanga means higher planetary system. Here it is said that api trilakka rajya sahetu. Trilakka. Om bhūr bhūvasya. This is bhūla, above this bhūvarla, and above that sarala. Heavenly planet. Om bhūr bhūvasya. That sahetu varana. This is Gayatri. So Arjuna is speaking of Trilaka Rajas. He is asserting that even if I get the kingdom of the three worlds, what to speak of only this earthly planet, what is insignificant. Even if I get the kingdom of Trilaka, Sarga, Matka, Pata, like that. He still, I am not prepared to fight with my things. What to speak of this fight? He decided like that. This is called family attachment. He is speaking, even an exchange of kingdom of the three worlds, I am not prepared to fight. Apintayakka rajyasya hetu kingdom mahikrate nihatta dhāsrāsta na ka prīti sa janārdana. What I shall get by killing my cousin brothers? And along with them there are so many relatives. 
आचार्य पितर पुत्र सथव चुकीम मातुरा ससुरा पौत्र श्याला संबंधी नस्तथा ईदान हंत मिथ्या मैडियर कृष्णा मधुसूदन ही इज नॉट एड्रेसिंग कृष्णा एज कृष्णा ही इज एड्रेसिंग इन मधुसूदना ही इज रिमाइंडिंग हिम दैट यू ऑल्सो किल बट यू किल योर एनिमी मधु मधु वाज ए जिम मधु कई तब भारे हरे मुरारे मधु कई तब भारे सो यू आर मधुसूदना यू आर द किलर ऑफ मधु जिमन हु आज युअर एनिमी यू आर नॉट नंद सुदन और जशोदा सुदन दैट इज माइंड रेट क्रिटिकल That you are yourself, Madhusudana. You kill only your enemy. Why you are inducing me to kill my kinsman? This is the question. So, it is not hunt me, child. So you may induce me, but I am not going to kill. It is not hunt me, hunt me to kill. I am not willing. Then the question may be that it is why, if you do not kill, if you stand still, then they will kill you, because it is why. Then what you will do? Yes, I agree. Ganatopi. If they kill me, I agree. It's still I will not kill. Ganatopi. Even uh, they kill me, I will not fight. I will not kill them, but if they kill me, that is also agree. Still, I will not kill. Just see how much determination. Uh, this is called family attack. Uh, <coughs> so he is preparing the ground for teaching Bhagavad Gita. Uh, we are so much attached to our bodily conception of life and expansion of bodily conception of life. Uh, he is thinking uh, in terms of bodily conception of life. Shala, bandhu, pitaro, pitamaha, because somebody happens to be. Uh, just like there are many thousands of women. One woman with whom I have got my bodily connection, I said, she is my wife. I have to give protection. This is all based on bodily connection. Uh, so long there was no bodily connection with that omar, we didn't care for. Uh, but as soon as there is bodily connection, immediately the attachment is there. Payor, payor me thina ridayabanthi mahu. Generally, everyone has got attraction for omar. Omar has got attraction for man. That is general. But when they are united uh, by marriage, uh, the attraction becomes very acute. Vidayaganti mahu. Vidayaganti means very hard knock. Vidayaganti mahu. So this is called family attraction. Then I get my attraction for my children, for my society, for my home. So the Arjuna's description of this means bodily concept of life. The Saman substance of this whole uh, passage described by your John, King Narajji na Govinda King Bhogui Jinti na Bhagavad. Everyone works so hard to acquire money. Why? The family attraction. Uh, we are students of economics. And there was a book, Marshall's Economy, that Mr. Marshall is explaining that economic impetus begins from family affection. Family affection. Unless one has got family, he will not try to earn. He will not try to earn money. He will be irresponsible. Therefore, it is essential when one is given some responsible force, uh, some 
I know some English farm in India has some connection with him. So he he was simply trying to know the man who is going to work for us, uh, whether he is family man. Because unless he is a family man, he has no attraction. Uh, he can give up the job at any moment uh, because there is no family attraction. This is the psychology. Uh, therefore, according to Vedic civilization, it is the duty of the parents to get the sons and daughters married so that uh, they will have family attraction, uh, they will be stably, they will be organized, things will go nicely. If there is no family attraction, no responsibility, then the things will not go nicely. This is the basic principle. So anyway, the family attraction is required for regulated life. If there is no family attraction, there is no regulated life. Uh, you have got very good experience of these things. So family attraction is required. It is not that it is rejected. It is required for regulated life. Unregulated life cannot make any progress. Uh, therefore, in the Vedic civilization, the grihastha ashram is recommended. Everyone should be married and everyone should be. If possible, let him leave a brahmacari. First of all, the brahmacari ashram is given austerity under the guidance of the spiritual master. Uh, so the idea is not to be entangled. Brahmacari has no connection with worldly affairs. He is simply interested with the order of the spiritual master. That is called brahmacari. So one is trained up as a brahmachari and he sufficiently given knowledge that don't be entangled with this material affair. Don't be. Try to avoid. Uh, but if you are still unable, your sex impulse is very strong, all right, then you go and marry. Uh, this is the process. First of all, he is thought to be Vairag, Vairag. This whole Krishna consciousness movement may be called Vairagya Vidya. He uh, wrote one verse on Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He wrote one hundred verses. Out of that two verses or four verses are available. When he composed the verses, eulogizing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and it was shown to him uh, because it was uh, self-eulization, he immediately torn up the paper. Uh, but still the devotees collected and got two or four verses. So one of the verses written by Sarvam Bhattacharya is, Vairāgya vidyā nija bhakti yogaṁ. This bhakti yoga is vairāgya vidya. How to teach people to be detached from this material attraction? This is vairāgya vidya. In another place, in Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said, Vāsudeva bhagavati bhakti yogaṁ prayodita. Janayati āsū vairāgya jñānaṁ ca haitukaṁ. In the human life, two things require, jñāna and vairāgya. Jñāna means that I am not this body, this is jñāna. Not that so-called scientific knowledge, more attachment for this body. That is not, that is all jñāna. That is not jñāna. Jñāna means how to achieve the status of vairāgya. That is jñāna. Jñāna vairāgya jukta. So the brahmacāri is taught vairāgya vidyā. 
वैराग्य विज्ञान जो भक्ति जोगम शिक्षा तम एक पुरुष पुराण सार्वभाव ठाचा जो से दैट दिस चैतन्य महापुरु हु हैज टेकन सन्यास वेरी अर्ली एज ओनली एट द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर इयर्स वेरी यंग मैन He has got his young wife at home, sixteen years old, and he has got his mother old, seventy years old. So he has given up all responsibility, and there is no other male member in the family uh, to look after them, the mother and the young wife. He still he has taken sannyas. Uh, so therefore. He is the Purana Purusha, the supreme person, but he has come to teach us this Bhairagya Vidya. Bhairagya Vidya is a bhakti yogam, shikha tamika purusha purana, purusha purana. Krishna, Krishna is the sky, purusha purana, shastam purana, dibham adi purusha. So purusha purana. वैराग्य विद्या ने जो भक्ति योग ही हैज कम टू टीच द भक्ति योग हुई चीज वैराग्य विद्या वैराग्य विद्या ने जो भक्ति योग शिक्षा तम एक पुरुष पुराण श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य शरीर धार ना ही हैज एम एस्यूम द बॉडी ऑफ श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु तम हम प्रपदे I offer my respectful obeisances to this person. Uh, he has come to teach us Bhairagya Vidya. Uh, so Bhairagya Vidya, this family attachment, and just the opposite thing is Bhairagya Vidya. How to become detached? Uh, this is the whole process of Vedic civilization. Uh, everyone has got this attachment. Uh, For the body, an expansion of the body. So, Bhairagya Vidya means to be detached. That is called Brahma Gyan, Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma, Na Sochati Na Kang. That is Brahma Gyan. As soon as you understand, Aham Brahma Sme, I am not this body. I am spirit soul. This is called Brahma Gya. So long you do not get this knowledge, you are in ignorance. That ignorance, there are degrees. In the age Satogo, or in the age more some goodness, you can simply theoretically understand that I am not this body. That is Satur, Brahmanical quality. Samo dhamo to this art, jnana. Jnanam vijnanam asrikam brahma karma sabhav. When you go, brahma jnanati is the brahmana. Brahmana means who has got the knowledge of brahma. Dido pata bhavit vitra, brahma jnanati is the brahmana. Janmana jayati suddha sanskara bhavit vijaya. <coughs> so everyone is born sudra, but by cultivation of knowledge and culture, uh, one can become sanskara. Therefore, according to Vedic the system, there are ten kinds of sanskara, reformatory method. Uh, this upanayan sanskara, this is also one of the sanskara, sacred faith. Uh, upo nayan, upo means near. And noyon means bringing. When the spiritual master brings nearer to spiritual consciousness, a person is given the uponoyon or the sacred thread. The sacred thread is the indication that this man is now under the control of the spiritual master for advancing in Krishna consciousness. This thread shall be. Uh, this is called upanayam. Uh, similarly, there is the formatting method, uh, marriage, uh, uh, 
And there are ten kinds of refinement. The first beginning is in Garbhada. So these things are impossible to introduce now in this college of Therefore, the only reformatory method is Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Kivalam, Kalo Nasteva, 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 Katiranatha. In this age of Kali, people are so fallen, so degraded, that it is not possible to introduce systematically the whole Vedic principle. It is not possible. That is not possible. It is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's grace, mercy, that He has given us mercifully. Vaidagya Vidyani Javakti, just to teach, very shortcut method. What is that? Chant Hare Krishna. Simple. Simple. Cheta Dhatpana Mahajanam, Bhava Mahadavadni. You are suffering in this material world. Dhavadni. The forest fire, uh, this material world uh, is forest fire, but they are so ignorant. They cannot understand that we are burning in the blazing fire of this material existence. Our attempt should be how to get out of it. But there is no such knowledge. Just like animals, the animals are suffering. They are being taken to the slaughterhouse. There is no uh, I mean, strength of protesting. That means slaughter. So we are being also being slaughtered by the laws of nature. We are also being slaughtered. So we do not know how to make progress. That is slaughtering. So this is going on. The very abominable condition of this age. Mandas manna matayu mandu bhagya jhupadyuta. First of all, they are very much slow. Or bad manda means bad or slow. <coughs> slow means uh, the human form of life is meant for making progress in spiritual understanding. So uh, in this age every man is very slow. They do not know that there is need of spiritual understanding. There is need of making progress in spiritual life. They have forgotten. They have become just like animals. Therefore they are called mandya. Sumanda matayo. And if anyone is little interested, he accepts something bogus, which has no meaning. Uh, uh, I belong to this ism, I belong to that ism, that is in the ism. What is that ism? Dharma or ism, what is that? Required. Dharma to Sakshad Bhagavat It is simple thing that uh, the dharma means, religious code means the order of the supreme personality of God. We have to obey. That is called dharma. But they have no knowledge. What is the supreme personality of God? What is his order? They are here in the Bhagavad Gita. The supreme personality of Godhead comes down to teach us. Jadajadahi dharma sabnani bhagavati. When people forget their regulative life. I come down. So he has come down. Uh, he has come down, he will teach or John that you are so much family-wise attached. Then he will teach. Uh, from the second chapter he will begin the teaching. Pradyavadam uh, subhasas. Asocham anusochasi tam. Pradyavadam subhasas. When Krishna uh, Arjuna oh, accepted Krishna, then I am now puzzled what to do. Uh, so I know I am puzzled, I am khatriya, it is my duty to fight, but I am hesitating. So it is very uh, embarrassing, puzzled. Therefore I am surrendering unto you. I am becoming your disciple, not friend. Now let us talk as master and disciple not as friend and friend. So when he accepted Krishna as the Krishna is always master, uh, but it is simply uh, acceptance. So at that time Krishna will speak, also chanam sutastam prajnabhadaṁ subhāsas. Yet you are gatāsum avatāsum ca nānu pandita asoji. Pandita. 
you are posing yourself, you will speak so many things. That is like Pandit learning. It is very nice thing. Krishna, Arjuna is saying, then how can I kill my kinsman? There is my grandfather, there is my teacher, there or my kinsman. It is not bad for worldly man. This is very nice consideration that I am not going to oh, kill my kinsman. That is very good consideration. Pragyavadamsa uh, bhasa. But spiritually it is ignoring. It is foolishness. Materially it may be very nice thing. It's talking to you. Therefore, the first chastisement was <coughs> Krishna took the position of spiritual master. So spiritual master has the right to chastise the disciple. So immediately he chastised. Asatyanamisutastam prajnavadam subhasas. My dear Arjuna, you are uh, talking, you are lamenting uh, so badly, and at the same time you are talking just like a very learned man. So this is the position of the world. One talks very high words, but his behavior is very abominable. So, Gradually we shall come to that point. Hmm.